Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me. Over the next couple of minutes here, I'm going to show you how you can physically send an email from within Redtail. Now, prior to actually sending an email, there is just a small section within your preferences that you have to have set up prior. But once you have that all enabled, you're ready to roll. Now, with that said, let's begin. To start, you're going to come up to your name in the top right hand corner and click on preferences. Now, don't panic because you're going to feel like you're scrolling for days, honestly, but you're going to stop when you see a section that says emails. Now, I'm going to just jump over this drop down for just a second. I'll circle back to that in a minute, but I want to talk about the actual setup of this section. Now, you have two ways of doing this. If you are a Microsoft user or Outlook, again, however you want to kind of call yourself here, you have this blue authorize button. What this will do once you click it, it's going to redirect you. You'll log in with your Microsoft account information. It's going to bring you back into Redtail. Wipe your hands clean. You're all done. If you are not a Microsoft user, scroll down a little bit. You're going to go a little old school. You're going to enter in your SMTP information manually. Now, one thing that is common for both situations, if you change your password in the next couple months here, year, whatever it is that you change it, come back to this section. Because what happens when you change that password is you're breaking that connection and you want to just go ahead and reconnect those. So update that password or unlink and relink and you're all done. One thing, no matter what, drop in your email signature. We want to keep this consistent, whether you're starting from what you're used to or you're starting from within Redtail, we want it to look the same across the board. Now this drop down here, this use internal or use external. What this is really saying is if I switch this to external, it's going to immediately open up a new email with whatever is my default on my computer. So if I'm on an Apple, usually it's Mac mail. Uh, if you're on a Microsoft device, it's usually Outlook. But again, if I want to actually send an email from within Redtail, use this as internal. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit that authorize button. It's going to redirect me to Microsoft. I've logged in prior, so it's going to go really quickly here. I reauthorized in here and you're going to see in a second, it's going to change this kind of like macaroni orange, but that's what's going to show me that I can now unlink it should I choose. So again, I have mine set up. I have my signature. I have it set to internal. Now to physically send an email, I'm going to drop into a contact. I'm actually going to just refresh just to be safe. But now if I come and click on Maggie's email over in her contact card, it's going to give me that compose a new email right within Redtail. Couple benefits as to why this is so useful. I can now use my email templates that I have within Redtail. But more importantly, if I scroll to the bottom, I can save this as a note. I'll say it right now. I am totally a victim of where I go and copy my email. I go to the contact, I paste it. It's time consuming. I don't want to do that. Now I can physically send that email right from within Redtail, save that copy as a note. And again, I'm all done. I'm all for this simple kind of process. So I'm going to go ahead and say, hey, it's time for her to schedule her review. It'll drop in my subject, drop in my body. And it went ahead and saved that copy as a note checked off here. And I'm going to hit that send email. Going to give a couple minutes here, but it really is as simple as that. Now there is a slight lag for it to actually save as a note. Just give it a couple moments here. You might want to refresh your page, but there's that note right there. Again, I didn't do anything special, but just have that setting set up. That's really it though. So I'd highly recommend giving this a shot for when it comes to those follow-ups or even those scheduling. Maybe it's those initial consultations, you know, thanks for joining me, whatever it is that you may find this useful. I'd highly recommend putting it as part of your process. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.